Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Richard here again with another unboxing video. This time it's the new 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray 60th anniversary limited edition set of Gregory Peck in To Kill a Mockingbird. So there's two versions released here in the UK. The standard uh, keep case edition with no slip cover. And this one is a slip box. As you can see by the open side on the right which has the movie inside and goodies. So let's get this one opened using the shrink wrap holes, if I can. If it all fails on the front, you can always try it on the back. Okay, this one I think is available in America as well. And to keep things standardized, uh, the UK has used a an American 11 mil elite case for this release as well. So we've got a glossy J slip at the top, and then the slip box is uh, it's one of those velvet feel um, slip boxes. So you can see the gloss on the top, but yeah, this is all velvet. Yeah, it's quite nice. And there's a look at the spine. We got embossed work for the title. Universal logo at the bottom. One thing you will notice, there's no BBFC or Irish Board Certificate logos. All we've got is that one. Which I think is a slip just produced for the UK. So everything else seems to be the same as... The American release, I can hopefully say, if there's an American uh, viewer watching, please let me know if this set is any different, apart from just this outer case, and obviously the disc inside, and the J-slip. Okay, but this should peel off. And that's the back. So the velvet feel continues on the back. And then this J slip wraps over. So let's have a look at the specifications first. Please pause it there by all means. Uh, let's have a quick look over it. Okay, so a 48 page booklet, film cell, I haven't had one of them for a while, and art cards. Uh, there's a list of the bonus features, <clears throat> uh, plus all that. The audio is English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 and there's a list of the other audio tracks and a list of all the subtitles. So again, my Czech friends will be happy. There is Czech support on the subtitles and on the audio for the 4K. So it's a bit of a step up from the Blu-ray. Okay, I don't see a Dolby Vision logo and I don't see the HDR10 Plus information. So it looks like it's just available in HDR10. Okay, let's uh, slide the contents out. <coughs> uh, it's not the thickest of outer cases. It is a little bit flimsy, but it is not wafer thin. It's not like the Indiana Jones set, which I know I always um, go back on, but um, that does give you an example of one that was quite thin. This one's arrived in good condition and there's no knocks or creases, so it is quite sturdy enough for that. So we've got the booklet. Let's have a look at the keep case. So it is an 11mm USA Elite case. There you go, Elite in the bottom corner. And it's a two-disc, 4K on the left and Blu-ray on the right. The Blu-ray does have a new 2022 logo on it, um, but whether it features the new transfer, I don't know because the audio tracks are different and the subtitles are different. So, any alternative artwork? Nope. And the 4K disc is a triple layer, 100 gig. And the Blu-ray should be a dual layer, 50 gig. Yep, yeah, it is.
Okay. So let's have a look at the bookwork. This is a, a glossy finished booklet. So as you know, I like a good booklet. Loads of good information in this. I'm gonna have a good read of. Oh, we've got some storyboards. Yeah, so another black and white film I'm looking forward to in 4K. I know a lot of people say 4K HDR doesn't really do anything. Um, well, I, I thought Casablanca looked amazing. Um, the job that Warner have done with it, it looked really, really good. So hopefully Universal have done a good job on this one. So these are the art cards. Is it four? Yeah. That one, nothing on the back. Oh, that's a theatrical poster in America. Um, that's the theatrical poster in Germany. Where's that one from? Australia. And this one is Belgium. So Belgium, Germany, Australia and American art cards. It's quite nice, something a bit different. You usually get these in the booklet, so to get them as art cards is, uh, yeah, a little bit different. And finally, we've got the film cell, uh, which is presented in a, a thickened card, uh, which is super glossy. It's like a fingerprint magnet, this, so beware. And on the back, about the film. And there's the film cell. Which I'll try and put white behind it so you can see it. There you go. That's quite nice, isn't it? Okay. So I'll keep that there. And put that back in its house. So... Good idea, going for the American case, keeps the package nice and small. Uh, isn't going to take up much room on your shelf. Um, and I think it is the same height as a normal steelbook. A slightly bit taller. Um, not much in it. About that much. So level at the bottom. Yeah, there's not much in it. It's only that little bit. And the height. A little bit taller. Yep. Okay, so another film I'm going to be looking forward to watching. My watch pile, which has never been quite large, is actually getting large now. So I'm going to have to get watching. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please give us a like because it helps the channel out a lot. Uh, gets the videos recommended to other people. And uh, be good to hear from you in the comments below. Again, is this the same as the American limited edition? And uh, be good to know if you enjoy this film and are uh, going to be picking it up on 4K. But again, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.